Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. It's Wednesday, April 6th. It's time for our daily devotions. We are in Mark chapter 15 today. We're starting at verse 1. And as soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, You have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, Have you no answer to make? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer. The Pilate was amazed. Now, at the least, I'm sorry, at the feast, he used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he usually did for them. And he answered them saying, (coughs) Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priest had delivered him up. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate again said to them, Then what shall I do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They cried out, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. All right, so this is actually <coughs> going to be the topic for the sermon this Sunday. Um, this Sunday is Palms, both Palm Sunday, and it's also the Sunday that we talk about the crucifixion, and we have the, the four people do the dramatic reading. So, you know, the point here is that Barabbas is being, um, I'm going to have some water, but the, the, poor, the Barabbas is uh, being put before the people with Jesus, and the people are given this option of, of who they want to release. Now, the Romans would rather have uh, Jesus be released because Barabbas is, to them, a terrorist. And he's just going to go back out and do more things that are going to make the Romans unhappy. Jesus, to them, is just a religious problem. Um, but if they don't do what the crowds and the religious authorities say and crucify Jesus, then they're going to have a big riot in the city. So the, the Romans are in a bit of a tough spot, and they, uh, you know, sort of reluctantly hand Jesus over to be crucified. Um, you know, it's not, it's not what their first desire is, but that just shows you how political the trial is and, and how human justice is subject to these sort of political maneuverings and, and results and that's true in any time, whether you're talking about 2,000 years ago or today. So Jesus is crucified, um, you know, because of all this. But at the same time, God has a plan that this is all working under the purview of God's plan because Jesus is coming to be crucified for our sins. And so um, that needs to happen. Jesus is not going to defend himself. He's not going to get out of this because he, he can't. He doesn't want to. Uh, and that wouldn't be good for us if he did. So, he is um, in silence here. He's not defending himself, but, but he is assenting to this so that he can die for, uh, for all of our sin. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, so we have a lot happening, of course, tonight. We have Midweek Lenten Supper at 6 p.m. That's just in less than three hours from now. And then 7 p.m. is the service. Um, This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, so if you would like to have your children participate in the Palm Sunday processional, have them here at 10.20 a.m. This Saturday is the Ice Cream Social from 4 to 6 p.m., So we're trying to raise money for our back door to replace that with something nice and something with a key card reader. So um, we'd love to have your participation up here this coming Saturday. And then Saturday morning is going to be the men's breakfast at 8, elders at 
9.30, and then council the next day, Palm Sunday, um, at noon. Oh, so, um, and then don't forget, we have the prayer vigil sign-up sheet up for Holy Saturday, which is, which is a week from this Saturday. So please get your name on there. All right. That's all the announcements I have for today. God bless this the rest of your Wednesday, and um, I'll be back tomorrow for Daily Devotions.